Today I'm going to use the Ninja Foodie to make a nice Irish meal for our St. Patrick's Day weekend. And I'm going to make a corned beef brisket. And I'm going to make it with cabbage and potatoes and carrots. But the best part is, it's going to be a corned beef brisket war because Rick's also cooking a corned beef brisket with cabbage and the works. In the back, huh? And he's got it going back here in the Kasori multi-cooker. And he's been cooking it all day, long and slow. And we're going to have a little taste test at the end of this that um, we'll share with you. So right now, since he's got his well underway, I'm going to start mine. And it'll take a I start mine at 9.30, I think. Right. I'm making a video so you can see it. Yeah, we want, channel. we want to link up all these videos so you can see his and you can see mine on both of our channels. Then we're going to eat together. But I didn't say how much that cost. I said how much it weighed. Oh. But how okay. much was that? Well, this is... Because the, they were exactly the same. The weight was the same? Yes, yeah, exactly. So it's about three and a half pounds. And the price on this was thirteen sixty-five. And they were both the same. Mm -hmm. I so, said the weight on the other one, but I didn't So see how much. The way I'm going to start this one in the, in the foodie, um, this is a non-stick ceramic coated vessel. I'm going to put the corned beef in here with a cup of water and a spice packet. And I'm going to cook it on high, under pressure, for an hour and a half. So I'm going to open it up and do that right now. After the meat cooks, I'm going to take it out and allow it to rest. And I'm going to cook the vegetables that go with it in those juices. So they take much less time than an hour and a half. Why wouldn't you cook them all together? I'm just asking. Yeah, they'll get mushy if I put them mm. in for an hour and a half. Well, why don't you use a second pressure cooker? Oh. Well, I want to use the juices from the. Oh, that's right. Okay. okay. I just can't wait an hour and a half. <laughs> I know. It's Mine's okay. going to be on keep warm back there. Okay. All right. Let me open this up and get it cleaned up and we'll get it cooked. Okay, I put the meat in the pot. So, Rick, can you show that in there? I left the uh, fat on here, and I left the fat side up. Rick said that he learned that Martha Stewart does it that way. That's what we're going to do. Well, everybody has their own way. Yeah, but that's a good idea, because they say the fat goes through the meat better, and it makes it more tender and juicy. Remember Myron Mixon? Yeah, Myron Mixon. The he, smoker. He did it that way, too, right? King of barbecue. Yeah, we like But they all have their own different ways. Some swear down, some swear up. Okay, for some this? Some swear up and down. Yeah, they swear all day long, some of them. <laughs> okay, so here's the spice packet on top. I'm taking a cup of water and I'm just putting this down the side. This is to help bring it up to pressure. And this will give us some juices to start cooking the vegetables when we put them in. So, now, the Ninja Foodie, if you're not familiar, this is an air fryer type lid here. And that's how we're going to finish this off at the end. But in the meantime, we're going to put the pressure cooker lid on. And I'm going to set this uh, vent into the sealed mode so the pressure stays in the pot. And we're going to close it up and turn it on. Now, across the top here are the many different methods you can use for cooking, but we're going to cook under pressure. So we'll start with that, and then we want to cook it on high. So you press it again for high. Then we want to set the time, and we want it to be two hours. Well, I mean an hour and a half. What? Speed. We want it to be an hour and a half. <laughs> so let's get that going. Oops. And it's this. And start. Okay, when it comes up to pressure, it'll start cooking for an hour and a half. And in the meantime, I'm going to get the vegetables ready so I can do it real quick. Get them in the hot liquid. And if you hear a lot of noise in the background here, it's because it just started pouring rain out here. And we have some thunderstorms going on. So that's okay, as long as the power doesn't go out. If it does, Rick has a backup generator to take care of that. <laughs> Okay, so I'll be back in an hour and a half. Okay, time's up on cooking the meat part of this meal. I'm going to release the pressure and I'll be back when the pressure's out. 
Okay, let me cut the cabbage up into wedges for you here, and as soon as the press is finished, we'll layer the vegetables in there and get them started cooking. Okay, now the pressure is out, let's take the lid off. Wow. What does it smell good in here? Hungry. Wow. Hungry. Hungry, yeah, it's smelling, this makes you even hungrier. All right, now I'm going to remove the meat if I can take it out easily, I hope. Oh. Wow. Looks like it was going to fall apart. Huh? I know. Tender. It was going to. All right. Now I'm going to put the vegetables in here. You can see there's pretty much liquid in there. I won't have to add any. Now I cut up the the cabbage into wedges like this and we'll just separate them lightly they'll come apart as they get removed all right there's a layer of cabbage a layer of carrots and a layer of potatoes so you can see that nearly fills the pot, but I left enough room here to put the meat right back in there after we cook the vegetables. Okay, I'm going to put the pressure lid right back on. snug because there's still a little pressure in there with the hot hot liquid so now I'm gonna set this again all right I'm gonna set this now for pressure and I'm gonna put on high and I'm gonna set this for 12 minutes and start I'm gonna wrap this with foil the piece of meat and we'll be back just to keep it warm and we'll let it rest. We're going to make a little coating for it and we're going to sit it on top of the vegetables in a few minutes. The cooking time is almost finished with the vegetables so I'll let that finish up and let the pressure start to escape naturally while I get this rest of this ready. Now I took the temperature of the meat and it was 180 or so. Let me check it again after it's been sitting here for 12 to 15 minutes. So I don't know if you can see the thermometer, it's already over 180 degrees. So I'm just going to go with that. Just wanted to show you what happens after it's sitting. Now I'm going to slice off the top of this fat on this meat. And this is I was told by one of my nice viewers that this is an easy way to get the fat off and also it's a good way to let the fat flavor the meat. So that way we're not going to eat all the fat but we allowed the fat to get into the, the meat while it was pressurized. But that was very good advice because you can see how easily the fat came off compared to having to Cut that off before you start cooking. Okay, now I'm, I'm going to make a little topping for this to add a little sweetness to I the I think steak. I should taste a piece of that while I'm sitting here waiting. You want to taste that? Just a little piece. Okay. Since I'm so hungry. Okay. Well, look at that. Whose is going to be better? Mine's going to be better. Look at that. Corned beef and cabbage oh. wars. <laughs> Mm. Good. All right, that's a good sign. Okay, I'm going to remove this from the picture here, and I'm going to make a little mixture. The mixture is going to involve 
organic glaze. This is from balsamic vinegar. It's been reduced. It's nice and thick. And I'm just going to pour a little of this into a cup. We don't need a lot here. And I'm adding a little honey for sweetness. And what we're going to do is allow this to get browned and nice and yummy while it's sitting under the air frying lid of the Ninja Foodi. And it gives us a chance to use some more features of this beautiful pot. This is one of my new best friends here in the kitchen. And I'll put a link to that in the description so you can see where you can get that if you want to. All right. Let's let the rest of the pressure out now. I'm really getting hungry too, and now look how it tastes. Mm. <laughs> so when we do slice this meat, we're going to slice it across the grain so that I can use it for uh, slices and sandwiches if there's any left over. Okay, the pressure's almost out. You see the little red pin here? When the pin drops, that should indicate that the pressure has released enough that we can open the lid. All right, that's what I'm talking about when I say the pin dropped. All right, let's open the lid. Oh my gosh, look in there. The boiling potatoes and carrots and cabbage. going to poke one of these to show you how tender. Look how tender that is. Perfect. Okay, while everything's good and hot, I'm going to lay this piece of meat right back in there. I'm going to support it with the knife so it doesn't fall apart here. All right, now we're going to take this nice, thick honey and balsamic glaze mixture, and we're going to pour it on top. Just drizzle it on. It will run off a little bit. A-okay. I just want to give it a little bit of a sticky surface when we put the Ninja Foodi lid down and we tender crisp this. Look at that. All good flavors. And they drizzle into the vegetables too. put the other lid down, the lid that stays attached, and this one is nice. I like it because you're supposed to sneak a peek and look at it as it cooks. We're going to go to a different mode called air crisp. We're going to set that, it'll be 390 degrees, which is the preset, and I'm going to set this just for five minutes. And start. Okay, the magic happens here. All right. All right, we'll take a peek in here. Oh. Ooh, look at that sizzle. Is that a real good close up of this? Oh my gosh, this is awesome. All right, let's get it out on a plate. And we're going to get ready to eat and taste it with Rex. I just hope I can lift it. Look at that. Oh, I got a little potato under there. Hmm. <laughs> All right, I'm going to pull out the vegetables with it. Nice cabbage and pepper and nice cabbage and carrots, potatoes. Oh, I do have a lot of juices here, but I'm going to try to drain some off. Time to eat. Oh boy. Oh, here we go. <laughs> here we go, here's mine. Oh. Show yours and I'll show mine. Okay. Mm. All right. 
It got a... Kasori Multi Coker. Ninja Foodie. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to show them a little closer. Okay. Does that look closer? There. i show them in the other camera. Yeah. Mm. So here's the next My. See? Mmm. Whose is better? Okay. Yours is redder. Why? Because you put a topping on there? I'm not sure. Alright, we're going to go against the green. Okay. Mm. Uh, can we see the meat while we're cutting it? I don't know if we have. <clears throat> I think maybe we should close up a little bit. Alright. I'll, I'll get up. Should be tender. Oh, it is. Oh. Nice consistency for slices for wow, me. Wow, that looks beautiful. It looks great. Do you want a piece of mine and I'll have a piece of yours? Yeah, go ahead. Put one on my plate. Can you put one on my plate? Mmm. Just one? Okay. I left the fat on mine. Should I taste it now? I gotta wait. You gotta wait. I can't wait. Alright, I'm gonna focus on the other one now. I'm gonna get some of my vegetables here though too. Okay, I'm gonna go slice mine for you. Okay. Mmm. That one, or do you like mine? I'm gonna take a big slice out of here for you. For me? Yeah, so you can taste. Right. Now the ending of our videos are gonna be similar, but a little different. So Look how both. moist. And, oh, it's falling apart. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little smaller than your slice That's there. Mine. <sighs> Boy, they are slicing nice, both of them. Look at that. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Great. Right. Looks great. Looks like something I've been waiting all day to eat. <laughs> Since Let's see. 9.30 maybe? I don't even remember. Okay. I'll taste yours. Ooh, yours just fell apart when I tried to pick it up. <laughs> They're both beautiful. We're testing. Mm, this is good. Mm. Oh my god. Mm, that is good. Oh my god. Is that mine or yours? Mine. <laughs> I just want to say that glaze on top is nice. Mine's glazed with natural fats. <laughs> Let's try yours. Well, no, mine has thyme. See? Yeah, I can smell the. I can smell the herbs. Mm. Mmm. Mmm, they're both delicious. You bought some bread for sandwiches for tomorrow? Yeah. Is that it over there? Well. Oh, what else you got? Dressing? I was hoping we would have enough for leftovers. Mm. <laughs> and I bought oh, well. some marble rye bread and some Russian dressing. And we have we have um, some coleslaw, we have some sauerkraut, we have some Swiss cheese. So we're all set for lunch tomorrow. Good sandwiches tomorrow. But if we really want to try this, I got black Russian bagels. Mm. Oh, and that's made with rye. Like a Reuben like that? Oh, God. Mm. Mm. Nice and soft. Would you yeah. toast that? I would toast it. Mm -hmm. See how much potatoes came out. Good. Good, sorry, slow cooker. Kasori multi-cooker mm. in the slow cook mode. Oh, I'll put a link to one of those down there too. Yeah. And I'll put a link to Kathy's video and you can watch hers. And I'll put a link to Rick's video <laughs> and you can watch his, how he made his meal. And we thank you for your patience while we put two videos together at once because we wanted them on each of our channels. And we love to show the wars because it's <laughs> it's so much fun. Corned beef and cabbage wars. Uh, yep, corned beef and cabbage wars. Because you can't lose when we're so good. <laughs> making wars out of these mm. delicious foods. Look at the potatoes in mine are really 
tender and nice and so are the carrots and cabbage this great delicious meal huh mm -hmm. and we love both of these cooking methods here they're two of our favorites the ninja foodie and the corsori multi-cooker they're oh, all another piece of yours how's that yeah go ahead or two. Oh, the carrots the carrots are so sweet like this let me taste your carrots you could have even you could have even crisped up yours a little more, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was nice and bubbly, though. Mm. Mm. So good. See, his carrots taste uh, totally different with the herbs in there. The They're, thyme? Mm-hmm. The thyme. And all day thyme, too. Mm-hmm. And the, and the carrots absorbed all that flavor. You can see by the color mm. of them. Good, good. Nice job. Oh. We don't have to pick a winner, do we? No, oh, that reminds me though, I might <laughs> have a winner in my pocket. Oh! A lucky shirt on. <laughs> lucky number! Mmm. <laughs> it's a lucky weekend, everyone. Mm -hmm. We hope you can try making some corned beef this weekend. They're on sale, are they on sale? Yeah, most of the places have them marked down for uh, the holiday. In, take it. <gasps> no, not a winner. That's okay. This is a winner, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for watching our video. Hope you enjoyed the recipe. Thanks for stopping by, everybody. Please subscribe. Check Kathy's video out. Check Rick's video out. <laughs> <laughs> You'll Here's enjoy it. They're both great. <laughs> yeah, they are. They're both great. All right, talk to you soon. <laughs> See ya. We got two cameras here. <laughs> yeah, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> Throw it out yours. <laughs> bye. <Throw them> both. <laughs> See ya. Bye bye. Mm.